So we have a function that is extremely important in mathematics. It's called the exponential function. So f of x equals e to the x. This is called the natural exponential function. So natural exponential function. And I'll explain why um, it's called the natural exponential function. So we can define it in this video as the inverse of ln x. So e to the x is the inverse function. It's the inverse of the natural log of x, right? They're inverse functions, right? So if you were to graph them, they would be symmetric across the line y equals x. Let me do it for you over here so you see it. It's a beautiful picture. There's y, there's x. And then the line y equals x is right here. And then ln x will be this light blue graph. This is the natural log of x right here. Passes through 1. And then so e to the x would be right here. It also passes through 1. So this is e to the x, and this is the natural log of x. And they're inverse functions. They undo each other. So that's how we'll take the definition. And so there is a formula. If you take the derivative with respect to x of e to the x, you simply get e to the x. This is not true for other exponential functions like 2 to the x or 3 to the x. Hence the name natural. What does this equation mean? It actually means something really quite interesting. Um, let's draw a picture so you see. So here is the y-axis, and here is the x-axis. And so let me go ahead and draw the horizontal asymptote. E to the x has one of those right here at uh, 0. And let me use a different color for e. So here is the graph of e to the x. It looks something like that. So we're saying the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So if you take any point on the graph, take a point here, uh, this value here is, we'll call this x. And so this y value here is e to the x, right? So the height here is equal to e to the x. It's the y value. Now, if you look at the slope of the tangent line at that number, Recall that the slope of the tangent line is the derivative, right? So the slope of this line, so the rate of change at x is the derivative of e to the x. But we know the derivative is the function. So the slope is equal to the e to the x. But that's also the height of the function. So e to the x is the only non-zero function in the entire world where its slope is equal to its height. It is the only function where its instantaneous rate of change is equal to the height of the graph. Hence, it is the natural exponential function, right? It is the natural choice for the base. That's why we call this the natural logarithm, right? This is the natural logarithm because it's the inverse of the natural exponential function. Let's finish this video with a quick proof of the derivative of e to the x, just so you see. Again, probably one of the most, if not the most important function in all of mathematics. Let's prove, let's prove that the derivative of e to the x is equal to e to the x. What an amazing, amazing function. So proof. Let's try to do it. See if I can still wing it. Um, so we'll start by calling y equal to e to the x, and we have to find dy dx. So we have to find e to the x as the inverse of the natural log of x. So what we'll do is we'll take the natural log of both sides to somehow involve that. So taking the log on the left-hand side, we get ln y, and on the right-hand side, we get ln e to the x. So here we have ln y. And then here, well, e to the x and the natural log of x are inverse functions, so they undo each other. So if you take the natural log of e to the x, they cancel, and you just get back x. Now we'll take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So differentiating the left-hand side, so let me write that over here. We're going to differentiate, differentiate. 
we end up with 1 over y, that's the derivative of ln y, times the derivative of the inside function, right? Chain rule, so dy dx, right? We're using implicit differentiation. y is a function of x. When you take the derivative of ln y, you write 1 over y, then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. On the right-hand side, the derivative of x is 1. Now all we'll do is multiply by y, so we end up with dy dx equal to y. So we have dy dx, oh, look at that, we're done, equal to e to the x, right? Because y is equal to e to the x, right? But what is y? y is e to the x. You can write it again as follows. You can write it as d, and then this is your y. So dx, and then your y is e to the x. Right, that's your y, and that's equal to e to the x, and the proof is complete. So I hope this video uh, has been enlightening or helpful in some way, and so the derivative of e to the x is e to the x.